we always had our eyes set on taking it to the next level. I'd rather invest in some real estate, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, wait, can you repeat that again, man? You're up and coming artist. What did you say you want to do? I said invest. We recently opened up um, an inner city co-work space. We got a core business, which is for me music, but then it's about building an enterprise around it. I look at it like, you know, we honor the people that ain't quit. We honor the people that stay down. The combo you have with yourself, your, your actions and your mentality are success. Remember when the mayor said this? Nipsey Hussle was an artist who touched our city and the lives far beyond of the city of angels throughout this country and this world. Remember when the chief of the Los Angeles Police Department said, I saw the name Nipsey Hussle and I looked at that again and I looked at it again and it was like I could not believe it. This is a voice that was trying to help. Andre Melro would say, man is not what he thinks he is. He is what he hides. The Los Angeles Police Department investigated Nipsey Hussle, an open investigation in motion on his property and business associates to determine whether the strip mall at the corner of Crenshaw Boulevard and Slauson Avenue was a hub of gang activity. The same intersection that was petitioned with over 500,000 signatures and will later be named after the late Nipsey Hussle. Today, per the Times' release, the Los Angeles Police Department said Nipsey was not a target in the investigation which still prompts questions. In my view, this is virtue signaling. Hey, Nipsey was a legend. Our baddie was named. Let's get out in front of this so other members of these communities may trust us. Let's save face. Don't take the times this report as fact. We still want to help you all. TMZ reported, though, the LAPD and LA City attorney were investigating Nipsey and his business partners for alleged gang activity at his Marathon Clothing store and the surrounding strip mall. Sources connected to the two agencies now tell us they weren't specifically targeting Nipsey. They say... The investigation centered around abating gang activity in the area, which has been a long-standing problem. Now, let me see if I got this straight. When Nipsey Hussle was shot and killed, he told Eric Holder to kick rocks because Holder represented exactly what Hussle despised. Gang violence being brought to his entrepreneurship and making the area a more positive piece of land. Still, the LAPD named Hussle. It's odd. The investigation into Hustle's empire, which the city has not publicized, continues, raising the possibility that the city will take action against the rapper's remaining business partners. So, let's see. If we just Google the Marathon Clothing Store, what do we find? Closed permanently. Hmm. As part of the investigation, the city pressured Hustle's former landlords to evict the rapper and his associates. Instead, the landlords sold the property earlier this year to Hustle and a group of investors for $2.5 million, according to public records. Why, oh why, would they investigate Nipsey when publicly LAPD Commissioner Steve Soberoff tweets they had plans to meet with Nipsey to discuss methods in reducing gang violence. As the investigation continues, the narrative of Hustle as a hero has been solidified in the city's psyche. That puts enormous political pressure on investigators to back away amid worries that an aggressive inquiry could damage relationships between the city, the police department, the black community in Los Angeles. So what's in the strip mall that prompted this investigation? We playing a long game. We don't want the money to stop when we go and we can't work no more. We wanted to outlive us. He was trying to turn around his neighborhood, buying land, apartments, building Vector 90, an inner city co-working space for entrepreneurs and creatives dedicated to calling attention to the lack of diversity in the science, tech, engineering, and math fields, and serving as a conduit between underrepresented groups and corporate partners in Silicon Valley and beyond. Steve's Barbershop, Elite Human Hair, Wireless Connection, Restaurants, Fat Burger, his own record label. The dude cared and just wanted to build the best he could. Yet here we are. These investigations typically lead to property seizures. In this case, the marathon would conclude. In conclusion, am I surprised? Not at all. These are the same members of society that dance with kids in the streets while the cameras are rolling, then at the same time, use excessive force. It's a smile in your face, stab you in the back mentality. It's sad. It's unfortunate. But as the top comment on TMZ's video writes, when it's blacks, it's a gang. When it's whites, it's an organization. Keep the marathon going, everybody. Do not let them tarnish Nipsey Hussle's legacy.